welcome to Asian Gardens table. It seems a lot of people are very interested in growing long bean. I like long bean a lot and as you know, I grow many different varieties. I have received some requests asking me to show more how to direct long bean vine and how to prune them. And I want to do this video. It will not be a quick one, but I will show you what actually I do to direct long bean and how to prune them. If you already watched the other video, you know what to do with your long bean, you can skip this video. So this twine is actually from my cucumber. When I remove the cucumber, I just pull the vine out. I didn't remove the twine so I can recycle them. So I have some of them already set up about half foot apart. I have this area, I don't have any twine, so I need to put them up together. So tie a single knot to the top and then cut the distance. Tie another one. Next, I'm tying a single knot to the middle bar. After all the twine all tied up, now we direct the bean vines. So, like this one here, like this one have the main vine, always keep the main vine first, no matter what. Like this, together. So now the vine, it doesn't matter which way you twine them together, just make sure they are twined together and do not fall. One of the reasons that I suggest you should direct the vine as soon as soon as they grow vine because they will tangle together like this. Here I have one, two, three, four, four vines that tangle together. So it's not the end of the world. You can undo it just like this, very careful, one by one. Now we're doing the same thing that to find a string and make a single knot. Find the vine and twine together. If you see the vines that grow not as tall to reach the twine, then you can leave it alone. And give it two to three days, it will grow very fast. So by that time, you can direct it onto the trellis. I recommend to put two vines on one string, which means that right now, for all the twine, every half foot, I have one main vine that direct onto the twine. So right now, I need one more that I want them to grow after this. For this one, they already grow one, two, three, four side vines, and I don't need all of them. Here, I just need one side vine to grow with the main vine. I'm gonna remove the side vine that I don't want to keep, the small one, the weaker one, remove them. This side vine will grow longer in few days, and by then, I will come back and direct it onto the string with the main vine. So I will have two fruiting vines on one string. This vine here, usually the best place for a long bean to grow side vine is from the bottom here. I have one, two, three, four. Usually, these four sprouts, they easy to grow into strong vines. If you don't have strong side vines growing yet, you can keep 
one or two of these side sprouts. They will grow into strong side vines later. Some long vines very early mature. So when you remove the side vines, you may see that like this one here, besides the side vine, it also grow in flowers. Usually I recommend you just remove the flowers because long bean is very long. If it flower and fruit under one foot long, the bean will drag on the ground. The bean quality usually is not very good. I don't keep any flowers under one foot. <sighs> okay, basically we are done here today. Today I spent about 15 to 20 minutes to do all this thing. Uh, what I did was uh, to tie the string onto the trellis and then I direct the vine onto the trellis and I also prune the bean vines a little bit so I don't need to worry about they grow too many vines in the next few days. So at the end of the work today, so you should have the long vine already direct to the string and also you keep one or two side sprout or side vines at the bottom which will grow bigger in few days. After few days, we will come back and direct this side vine onto the string. By that time, we should have two vines on one string. One string every half foot. So I will see you in few days. Mm -hmm.